What up, G's? It's Miss M with ya. I'm in home in Thorold, hometown, tour town, Thorold, Ontario. It's a lovely day. It's it's beautiful. The sun is out. Today I'm gonna do something a little fun for you. Something uh, a little different. We're gonna do a get to know me tag today, and today's tag is the TMI tag. It's not that. It's not like that much information. It's not like you guys won't want to know these things. <laughs> I mean, it's not anything you guys won't want to know. It's not weird. So, I got bit by a mosquito, which I'm not happy about. So, welcome to Tuesday's vlog. Um, you guys, if you're keeping up on my Ms. M Facebook, where you can get the link in the description box below, um, notice that each week on Tuesdays, is along with the vlog that I choose to post, I post um, a music video, uh, just a quick video of um, some acoustic playing and some vocals every Tuesday on my Facebook account. So you guys can check that out on a Ms. M's Facebook, which is me. Check that out. And yeah, here we go. The TMI tag. I kind of like to look at you guys in the eyes a little bit. I mean, I don't really like to have shades on all the time. Question number one on the tags. What is your zodiac sign? Uh, my zodiac sign is Gemini. I'm in Gemini. I've got the twin happening in me. And there's a lot of cool things that you can read up on zodiac signs. If you guys aren't into them, you should definitely do a little bit of research because it's some cool stuff that you can learn about your zodiac. And uh, I didn't even realize this, but you can, um, Depending on where you're, where you're, um, I have no idea. Like, I, I need to do research on it, too. Okay, number two. It says, how old am I? What is my age? And when is my birthday? My birthday is June 11th, and I'm currently 21 years old. Number three says, what quality do I look for in a partner? I think that definitely one of my biggest things is somebody with a lot of ambition and passion and creative mind, they are totally gonna like kind of get excited, just as excited as I am about my projects and I can do the same for them. Okay, so question number four is, what is one of my turn-ons? So I think this is something really similar to what I just said. Um, you gotta have to have ambition, like seriously. Um, <laughs> it's huge for me. but. To answer the question in, in a unique fashion, I'd like to say that what I'd find is a really huge turn on and what is really gonna draw my attention is eye contact and a, like smiles, like smiles and eye contact. I, I'm drawn to it, so drawn to it. So I just told you what my turn on is, I need to tell you what my turn off is. So I think I don't really have any like turn offs in a person. Um, not necessarily. It's more of like attitude and um, habits. That is definitely like just bad habits and certain attitudes. You have to be confident and lack of self-confidence and you know discipline or drive is definitely a turn off for me. So number five's question. Do I have a crush? Um, I will answer this honestly in the fact that yes, I do. <laughs> but personally, I am really focused on following my true path and really accepting what is truly meant for me and that's it. Um, I'm so ready for a serious relationship and I'm ready to have it and never let go of it type of thing. Even though I might have this crush, I I don't even think it's the right thing for me. So I'm just focused on what my path truly is. Even though I don't know what it is, I'm just having faith that I'm walking down that path. Yeah. So yeah, that's my answer. Number six question is, what was the last thing that made you cry? Lately, I've been doing these meditations um, in the evenings, and then I found one a couple days ago um, through an abundance webinar, 
the director's name was Riley Dane. He's such a brilliant young man. Um, but during his webinar, he had created and he shared with us um, a seven minute meditation that um, I found super powerful, like to the point where just the smallest things, like you know, he had us tune into what we were most grateful for in the last 24 hours. So it could be something simple or it could be something larger, whatever we wanted. And it was something pretty simple for me. I just kind of pictured um, the fact that my family and my close friend had all kind of gathered together and we were having a really, really good night um, this weekend. So I. I just kind of pictured that in my mind while I was doing this and it really like for some reason it just hit this nerve and I started to cry throughout the whole meditation like I was like trying to wipe my tears away so I could focus <laughs> but um, it was okay I feel like it's it's kind of healing to get yourself to that point of vulnerability and have something that simple just kind of hit a nerve it's it's definitely healing so yeah that's a pretty powerful thing and I'm pretty happy that that was the last thing that made me cry. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this on camera but right before I started filming I got this mosquito bite and it was even on it that long and it's huge now. My first mosquito bite of the season. <laughs> Number seven's question says what is my favorite quote? There are a lot of great quotes out there but I think my favorite quote would be walk by faith not by sight and I'm pretty sure that's a lyric from Paramore. I always have said that it's, you know, quoted, I always quote Haley Williams whenever I say it, but it's, it's pretty much a, a lyric in, in a Paramore song. It's not faith if, if you use your eyes, if you use your eyes, if you use your eyes. Regardless of where it came from, that's my favorite quote. Next question is, what is something that I miss? I think something that I miss, playing in a band. Yeah, I think I'm still in the band, <laughs> but we haven't practiced in forever. And the last thing we all did together was make a demo. I don't even have the demo. I'm really sad about that. The last question is, um, what is my favorite musician? So I can't really answer this question very accurately because I have so many favorites. It's like I can't put my finger on it. But I do have to tell you guys right now, I have been listening to J. Cole non-stop. Uh, specifically, 2014 Forest Hill Drive. That album is amazing. Like I'm in love with it, like every single track. I really suggest that you guys listen to Love Yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Each and every one of his songs, he's just singing so purely about love in, you know, whatever way it reflects out of him. But it is so purely about love and he's so grateful and been so determined and had this mindset that I totally look up to. So props to J. Cole. Hashtag cool world. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it for the TMI tag. Don't forget to go like Ms. M's Facebook and check out those weekly music videos. Miss M loves y'all. Peace. Love.